Hello and welcome to today's open house with the Gyan Marga Technologies. Today uh, we have an uh, exciting agenda planned for you all with the qualified faculty and efficient uh, background team, like here to make your uh, su story a successful one. So, uh, firstly, we will start with the brief introduction about our company and what we stand for. Then uh, we'll invite our founder to give a presentation about uh, history of Gyan Marga, and behind our innovative IT courses. After that, showing like a certification program and explain how it can help you uh, in advance to your uh, career in tech industry with the placements and the internship. Uh, then we'll move to the uh, one of our top developers, join us to give a live uh, product uh, demo of our uh, latest app. Uh, this will be a great opportunity for you to see the first hand uh, how our courses can help you to uh, develop uh, real skills and creating our uh, cutting edge technologies. Okay. Uh, following the demo, I'll join you. Uh, will join you to discuss about various student pathways and on how can you navigate uh, our course offering to achieve your career goals. Like we understand that everyone has a unique uh, interest and objectives, and we are committed to provide uh, personalized guidance to you. Okay. Then we'll move to the uh, our latest uh, MOOC platform technology that is for uh, colleges. Uh, that is uh, own customized courses using our platform. Uh, so, like developers will be uh, introducing the Nalanda as well. So, firstly, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Srinivas Bhardwas, uh, CEO and the founder of Myanmar Technology, to start with our IT certificate program. Yes, sir, go on. So, uh, thank you uh, uh, very much, Tarun. Uh, it is wonderful to uh, to have all of you uh, uh, join join us today for our IT certificate presentation. Is my uh, screen visible? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. yes sir. okay, so let me uh, go to uh, slideshow mode. Sometimes slideshow doesn't work for me, <laughs> but I hope it works today. So, um, <clears throat> so uh, 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 Nyanamarga is, is uh, three and a half years old. Uh, we started just before the pandemic and our IT uh, certificate program is uh, now in cohort three. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, we have been, uh, you know, um, working with uh, uh, various students so far and uh, we are uh, hoping to, uh, uh, you know, really expand our IT certificate program uh, to, to, uh, to include uh, new and important uh, changes as well as additions, you know, uh, today's, uh, 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 today we are also going to reintroduce Nalanda is our uh, 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 program uh, which is which allows uh, uh, partners to add new uh, uh, courses as well you know and so this is a very exciting moment for uh, for our IT certificate program uh, because it is going to uh, really get uh, you know a, a new set of uh, both courses as well as ways by which students can gain additional uh, experience as well as uh, uh, take more courses. Uh, to introduce the Nyan Marga uh, platform, we have a new technology. It is based on a new technology, uh, which is uh, which is a, a way by which an ebook can can be converted into a course. You know, and so how it works is we overlay ebooks, and uh, for which we have received a USPTO patent. Uh, and we continue to add to our uh, IP portfolio. We uh, initially focused on schools and we worked with IIT Madras on uh, the uh, school platform. And after uh, several awards and uh, success in the school market, we then turned our attention to the, um, uh, to, uh, the IT certificate and the college market. And what is important is uh, you know that India's uh, college programs also, uh, you know, are uh, uh, in need of uh, uh, added support for which the government has now introduced NEP 20. You know, and so. Uh, but before I go to that, let me explain how our eBooks work. You know, so typically when you uh, run the app and you will get a demonstration of the app uh, uh, by Prajod, uh, uh, you know, shortly. Uh, you will see a, a screen which has, uh, you know, um, either the book or the syllabus. And from the syllabus, you can go to the book. And 
when you go to any uh, a page in the book you will get in context learning material what does this in context mean it means that whatever you are learning let us say you are studying uh, data structures you are uh, trying to learn about hash table you know so then the slides associated with with hash table will be the slides that will open up the the videos that you get will teach you more about the material that you're currently studying you know and so this is a very powerful way of learning you know so books as many of you know uh, are difficult at a young age you know and particularly complicated material you really want some uh, added uh, support so that's why we we in contextualize everything you know and we are going we continue to add new features and new overlays so uh, we are an amazon edge start member uh, you know we wanted to uh, uh, you know uh, really expand our program with amazon and we will continue to do this you know so we, uh, our uh, colla collaboration uh, initially was you know largely informal with iit uh, madras you know uh, and iit madras is is really the pioneer in this space you know um, uh, uh, and uh, we had one one year we support uh, we worked with amrita on in ctf partnership we are also an nptel industry associate i'll explain the nptel side of uh, what we do also you know um, and uh, so but but this is the basic it certificate program uh, you arun will explain how this program has um, uh, works further there are essentially 7 plus 1 courses you know the it certificate program is built to support any student who is coming into okay now if in school you have done let's say python you know our american students in school they do uh, uh, what is called ap computer science which is built around java you know so students come with java or students come with python you know but it doesn't matter if you have never had any programming also we start the student at at a place where they are that is very very critical uh, as part of our programs you will get an uh, initial apcs app and then you will go from there now it is very much in demand through the uh, 2020 2021 uh, india saw great growth in it uh, uh, hiring you know uh, 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 companies like tcs they alone hired in the hundreds of thousands you know uh, what does that mean hundreds of thousands uh, like the the uh, number of employees being inducted into it is growing every day the world economic forum uh, 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 linkedin has uh, said uh, thinks that there will be 150 million new technology jobs in the in the next 5 years so getting ready for it is definitely a way forward and even if you are your love first love is uh, civil engineering or your first love is um, uh, you know commerce and you want to be a, 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 an mba you know uh, you can still uh, you know get a a, a secondary um, um, it certificate so that you have multi, uh, you know you have upskilled yourself you're also it capable you know and if you are let's let's say managing a team of um, uh, it professionals you have the basis for that so we work uh, using the it madras diploma as the basis this is not a 3 year program let me remind you again this is not a 3 year program this is a program to for someone with a degree to then uh, upskill themselves so as part of our it certificate program if you so wish uh, we can also help you uh, you know uh, get into an internship uh, and uh, you know get yourself ready to to, to for job interviews the first thing that you need to do post uh, you know uh, as you get yourself ready is to build a resume you know then you need friends you know you need friends you have to network you know and the third thing is you have to crack a job interview you know so we train you along the way for these things in it many people don't understand how, what job interviews can mean you know when you go to an it job interview half the time they will both ask you questions in in the it field as well as 
they will they will make you write some programs today more and more they make you write programs and you, uh, uh, you know more and more we introduce this idea of programming early on so that students don't reach the la final year of their uh, co career course and then say you know see today i want to start programming uh, and be able to program on, uh, online in way with a manager watching me so the, our main program has two timelines you can do it in three semesters or you can do it in four semesters uh, and uh, today tarun will go over the pathways that we have uh, new pathways we have created for students seeking internships we have as we explained we have seven courses statistics for programmers data structures with java data science with python front end uh, 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 programming with android and javascript web apps with database and php spring no sql kafka ai ml with python and r so that is seven uh, seven courses but we are going to uh, you know but but remember that these courses have prerequisites you can't go to uh, you know java backend with spring without knowing java you know you must know java before you come to the, uh, come to this course you must also know python no oh, sorry you must also know databases you know a uh, lot of the courses if if you want to do ai ml you must know python you must have uh, had some data science background you know this this year we are going to also expand our it service to include uh, cloud computing because as as you saw we are uh, you know aws uh, activate aws ed start uh, member right um, and we are also going to introduce uh, entrepreneurship iot and additional courses and also we are going to partner with both companies as well as uh, universities to add to the it certificate program you know so and uh, you will see in our nalanda presentation how we are going to go about it you know so this is our team and this is a very talented team if i may say so you know and uh, uh, we will be introducing uh, more and more uh, staff to this team uh, you know in the in the coming uh, months as well you know what you what you get with this uh, with, with the size of this team is a very strong uh, a set of people dedicated people who will support you through your journey to an internship or Uh, uh to an interview and you will and uh, the, you will see that in the student pathways section when i started the company i met uh, professor ashok junjunwala he is a padma shri and head of the uh, research park in iit madras now he is a leading light in india's journey through uh, uh to, to I, 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 ict you know so then i explained to him i want to make a company for, uh, to tackle the education divide and he was very happy to uh, support me he has supported me uh, through uh, because he was my teacher in in uh, in iit now uh, 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 mr kishor padmanabhan is a a, a uh, consultant and vp at uh, uh, tcs former vp at uh, uh, senior vice president at tcs and he has a lot of experience in the iit industry he is a real stalwart of the iit industry and he has also is a key advisor for us uh, 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 dr sudarshan is a Uh, professor at emeritus at uh, university of kentucky i reach out to him when i want to understand uh, you know the the uh, difficulties associated with students and how uh, they navigate uh, you know um, uh, they they navigate uh, education and uh, so i reach out always to him as well uh, now uh, i myself srinivas bhardwaj uh, i have a uh, 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 three masters degrees and a bachelor's degree from iit madras you know i graduated of course uh, 1988 which is a very long time ago uh, but then uh, you know i've stayed in touch and i'm very much a hands on engineer i teach uh, uh, two or three of the courses that you will come to and i hope to see several of you uh, vinod gopinath right now is on uh, um, uh, leave uh, he is a adjunct professor at san jose state and is A, uh, uh, a technical uh, leader at salesforce um, and uh, he's part of our uh, enterprise uh, uh, java and our various uh, python programs as well now uh, prajot handles uh, he, he he will show you the demo next uh, he handles front end and is a fantastic uh, both a fr fantastic front end programmer and also a very patient teacher 
so please uh, also uh, 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 take, take advantage of, of the uh, front end programming courses sunny uh, works on our back end and he is also a, uh, a very good with uh, uh, gcp uh, and also uh, very good with uh, sql you know and uh, php you know and so you will uh, there, there is a course which deals with with these three technologies php many people uh, uh, need to remember is is the is the uh, uh, de facto backend in facebook you know so uh, you may not uh, and and in a lot of e-commerce platforms rely on php so you do need to uh, you know be well versed uh, in in uh, these as well now uh, uh, there is tarun who is uh, who so many of you would have met uh, he is our it uh, certificate program lead uh, and very importantly uh, our newest member uh, abhishek singh you know uh, so uh, please uh, make use of uh, you know of our full team and uh, you know uh, we have additional folks as well there's uh, stuti sharma uh, and then there is uh, parnika and uh, you know several of our courses also had navneet krishnan who 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 helped put together our program so typically students who want to do the whole program uh, should take uh, you know the first java course you know and that is ap computer science a uh, and we teach it both to uh, you know uh, to the students who come uh, to our uh, uh, it certificate program and also to uh, to people in our ap uh, you know ap exams uh, 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 track you know and uh, so this is going to be the first hands on uh, programming course then we have the introduction to python which is you know a lo lot of students can uh, who have had uh, uh, Py uh, python in class 12 uh, might uh, just use this as a refresher you know uh, but this is also a very good program uh, you know i think uh, and our apps are also very good in this uh, and you should uh, you know for students who want to take the nptel exam you may want to uh, take advantage of this then students get uh, data structures with java statistics for programmers we include this course because statistics is a prerequisite for aiml you know many people want to know you know what is the use of the statistics in a uh, uh, programming course you know but analytics you know all these things today are highly driven by both statistics as well as uh, you know uh, 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 new ideas uh, related to statistics so that's why we have this course then of course you have the main course uh, you know web apps with databases and php you know uh, this is our back end uh, you know uh, your your first meeting with the back end you know and uh, uh, as you know uh, everything today runs on the cloud everything uh, uh, there's uh, 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 you know we have had 25 years of back end development you know and uh, this is a uh, you know and php is among the more uh, the, the better known and you well used languages uh, notably in india also you know uh, you know it is uh, uh, the the fulcrum around which e commerce uh, front end uh, uh, development etc uh, is also built you know so uh, you do need to 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 be well versed in php uh, uh, and and have that in your resume as well so you you are versatile and uh, uh, ready you know uh, then we have front end programming with android and javascript this is uh, uh, as i said taught by our uh, leading uh, front end uh, uh, developer um, uh, prajot uh, so you should take this course you know uh, this is uh, you know if you want to uh, make apps you want this if you want to become a full stack programmer you want this if you want to be a front end programmer uh, and you want to learn little bit of uh, graphic design as well you know uh, this is worth learning you know uh, it, 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 it when you have a a um, the ability to make uh, the, the the app itself then you also have the ability to understand the nuance needed to build uh, the the design behind a front end so this is also for designers you know uh, so finally we also have the java backend spring framework course and this was going to be offered uh, with cohort 3 uh, spring is today a very important uh, technology i myself teach uh, 
uh, spring boot and uh, stitch this course spring boot with kafka um, uh, along with no sequel all these are uh, very important technologies but of course it is good to know sequel before you come to no sequel uh, you know uh, so uh, we we like people taking uh, things in uh, with prerequisites suddenly don't show up and ask you know what happened in the ramayana uh, when we are all in yuddhakant you know so that is very very important uh, you know uh, you know why are they fighting you can't suddenly come and ask right so uh, this is uh, this is critical so finally ai ml with python and r uh, uh, you know is our uh, newest course this is also uh, you know going to uh, you know be added uh, so please uh, also those who want to uh, pursue this please pursue this so this is the timeline for the full program people who want to take the full program but uh, tarun will be explaining also the part program so uh, with without further ado let me move back to uh, move this back to tarun yes thank you sir so now next i am going to uh, invite mr prajot for the application demo uh, to uh, see the first hand skills that we can acquire and uh, for the it certificate for easy admin okay so hi everyone i hope my screen is visible to all okay so i'll be presenting uh, the it certificate application okay you have to do that okay so this is a it certificate application and we have covered all the courses here uh, which mr srinivas uh, had mentioned okay so we have stat statistics for programmers data structures then data science with python then android program and web applications spring kafka ai ml with python okay. so uh, when the student selects uh, any one of the course uh, say for example if he clicks on data structures what he'll be getting is uh, like he'll be getting all the topics covered within that course okay and on click of this he'll be getting the uh, all the topics as well as the sub topics coming under that okay for example now if he clicks on any one uh, topic here say heaps and he selects the sub topic then what will happen is he'll be getting all the resources related to that topic that he has selected okay resources in the sense like uh, there'll be a textbook resource slides as well as youtube videos which will you know explain that particular topic even in more detail okay so i'll just click on the textbook okay so when he clicks on the textbook he'll be directly taken to that particular page number where the topic is okay inside the textbook Similarly, he can go and visit the slides. So he'll be getting the slides related to that topic. Okay, and finally we have the videos. Okay, so if there are more than one videos, like uh, will be shown the links over here. The file which we'll be using in the subsequent classes to see how to find and to delete the minimum element in a binary heap and for other. operations on heaps okay so also when it comes to videos it will directly start playing that portion of the video where that topic is okay so the student need not scroll uh, you know uh, uh, through entire video just to find where that topic is and after going through all this theory uh, the student can take an assessment okay so we have uh, like set of questions uh, for each of the chapters uh, which the student can take and this assessment is mainly uh, mcq based okay so uh, there will be question asked here which the student has to answer in certain time okay. and uh, yeah he can navigate all the questions and the question that he has answered will be indicated there and finally he can submit a test okay so at the end we will be giving you uh, the result okay and also like uh, other details like how many are right answers how many are wrong answers and uh, he'll be he'll get to uh, see the solution okay so if the answer is correct it will be indicated here uh, using the green icon okay also like we'll be giving you the solution below and also uh, like if he has marked wrong answer then th then also like we are indicating here okay like uh, the answer that he has marked and which is the correct answer yeah. and uh, what we have done is we have also linked this uh, with the moodle platform so in the case of assignments now uh, like uh, 
you know the lecturers will be uploading it on the uh, Moodle platform so the student can access the assi assignments from this platform also okay so they will be able to see the assignments they will be able to also submit the assignment over okay. here okay so all the assignments will be uh, like uploaded over here The same set of features will, uh, you know, will apply for the other courses as well. Okay, and as you can see here, as most of the courses uh, which are here requires, you know, some basics of Java. So you know, it's better uh, that you know the the beginner level student. Uh, it's better if they also take the AP Computer Science course. Okay, so I'll also quickly go through the AP Computer Science uh, app that we have. Okay, so this is our AP Computer Science application, and the topics uh, covered here are mainly uh, Java. Okay, the basics of Java. So suppose if you want to take uh, like Android programming course or say Java backend with Kafka and all, then it's better you know you have the knowledge of Java, the basics of Java, and all the uh, object oriented concept. Okay. So, like when you open this app, also the first thing we present is the syllabus. Uh, the student can navigate to any topic uh, from the syllabus itself. So, for example, now if I go with the unit uh, four, that is iteration. If I click on this, I'll be getting all the topics coming under. It. And if I click on that, uh, I'll get a proper breakdown of all the chapters as well as the sub chapters also. Uh, once I select the topic, I get the resources. Okay. So same, same, uh, same as previous. So we have the textbook slides and videos. Okay. So when I click on the textbook, I'm directly taken to uh, the topic that I had selected. Okay. It is for statement. Okay. Similarly, from here, when I go to slides, I'll be getting the slides related to that topic. And finally, the videos. And to count up, let's count up with this for loop. So watch what I do here. So four, int, I, I use x, I don't use y. Okay, actually this video is uh, uh, like for the iteration, but uh, the video will start playing from that particular timestamp, okay, where that topic is. And also like uh, while going through the uh, slides or while going through the textbook, if they want to you know search for a topic and directly uh, get the net resources of that topic they can directly do a search they can do a voice search also polymorphism okay so now i have uh, searched for polymorphism so what will happen is all the resources uh, will be loaded with respect to polymorphism okay. so if i click on the textbook uh, it will directly take me uh, inside a textbook where polymorphism is uh, and same thing with the slides i'll be getting the slides related to polymorphism and as well as the video okay it will play the uh, video of the polymorphism. uh yeah that's all i have uh, for this demo thank you yeah thanks for the, for the uh, application demo so uh, now i'm going to present the student pathways and how can you uh, navigate with the course offering to achieve your goals uh, let me share my screen. There are different pathways okay, for the IT certificate. So I'll start with the uh, first two uh, roadmap. Okay, that is mainly for the uh, uh, first year and the second year students. Okay, so uh, students are like who are uh, with the beginner. Okay, so they need to start with the uh, semester zero program that will be uh, AP Computer Science. So Java will be uh, included in that program. Okay. Then uh, for the semester one, uh, they will be learning statics for programmers, then uh, data structures with Java and data science with Python. Then uh, moving further, they will like in semester one, they will also be doing uh, projects with the data science with Python and data structures. Then uh, moving further that in the second semester, they will be doing uh, front end programming and the web applications. So there will be two major projects uh, with the front end and the uh, web applications. Then uh, for the semester, oh. So it will be uh, like the course with the uh, Java backend uh, with Spring and Kafka 
and also uh, those who want to enter ai and the uh, like data analytics and data science part so they will be doing uh, ai ml with python so they also will be like a few more projects they need to complete so for each semester uh, they will be having project work on the uh, like it will be for around uh, like you can say uh, 12 to 14 months of program for the uh, to complete the all the three semesters and uh, with respect to the next uh, road map so like students who are already familiar with uh, java programming they need to start with the semester 1 only then they will move to chapter 2 and then semester 3 the courses will be the same mm. after that we'll be providing uh, three interviews for them uh, for the internships and uh, will be uh, like we'll be building their resumes as well as and uh, they will get a good job there yeah so this will be the road map for the uh, first and the second year students mostly now uh, these are the like uh, pathway success okay you can say so like uh, first uh, like you can grow your it skills learn and solving uh, problem with us then we'll be uh, building your resume uh, with the different companies then uh, participates in internships and projects uh, basically like uh, we wants to give four projects and three internships for the uh, full program then uh, learn to get job interviews will be providing like uh, what are the interpersonal communication skills as well as the uh, whatever the mock test uh, questions those are asked in the interviews then uh, mentors will be guiding you on each weekend so on the live classes like how to prepare for the uh, interviews as well okay. so this will be the like a uh, pathway for the uh, complete program okay. new students okay so starting with the java has been okay so students who had not done python in schools uh, they also uh, complete uh, python in the first sem only Okay, that is we called as zero semester so they will be doing uh, java as well as python then they'll move to the uh, major co courses okay so this will be the road uh, path map for the uh, start pack for the students who are taken python already okay so the students are already uh, familiar with the python uh, and wants to enter in mo uh, most of the uh, sites we can say in data science and ai so they'll be starting with the stati statics and the data science course in the semester one and then the after three months they need to enter in the uh, semester two program that will be a uh, core of ai ml and uh, data databases and the web applications yeah so uh this is uh students who are looking for the like to become a developer in front end or the back end okay so this will be the roadmap for mostly the third year and the fourth year for seeking jobs and internships so with that program like semester zero uh, will be the course uh, like students who are like first wanted to start with java then semester one they'll be learning front end and data structures and in semester two they'll be doing uh front end projects and they'll be uh, ready for interviews okay and for the uh back end the similarly like they need to do uh, apcs program then data structures with java and web applications and semester two, they need to do uh, core projects uh, with the databases, and they need to complete one more course that is uh, Java backend with Spring, uh, NoSQL, and Kafka. So this will be the more uh, uh, road uh, map for the uh, third and the fourth year students. So after that, they will be uh, like uh, we are giving uh, three interviews for them. So they need to crack that, and will be uh, getting a good job there. So this is the uh, road uh, path map for the uh, students who wants to seek career in data science and uh, AI mostly. So for the semester one, as I told, uh, it will be uh, statics for programmers and data science with Python. And in semester two, they'll be doing AML and the web applications. Okay, and this is the uh, sequence to Python. So they will be, uh, if they wanted to do, uh, they are already familiar with statics. So they will be doing data science with Python in semester one. And for the semester two, they need to do AML with Python and uh, project work and internship. So these are the intensive plans. Okay, so like students who complete full plan will get a CV and uh, resume help sessions and three interviews uh, within the four month of uh, completions of the sequence. And students uh, who complete internships only. Okay, so like uh, they are taking three courses. So we'll get a one interview and 35 percent of money uh, back within three months of completion sequence so this will be the plans for the uh, students who are seeking uh, like jobs and internships mostly so yeah, yeah one minute so uh, on this one um, see if if we get you three interviews uh, then we will not give you your 35 uh, percent back 
same with the uh, you know uh, if if you get your one interview then we will again not give you 35% back you know, so so but ideally we do want every student to to be placed but see you know we cannot give uh, arrange for more and more interviews till you get placement so uh, you know it is good to prepare yourself well so that uh, you know you do make your internship otherwise we'll try to accommodate you within um, you know some uh, simple plan you know so uh, uh, where you uh, where you do some projects and then go forward so go go on sorry go on yeah so these are the uh, leading top notch faculties okay so as uh, sir mentioned so shrinivas paradwa is there okay, so is uh, it madras fellow and uh, it is uh, masters from georgia tech and santa clara university and has an 30 plus years of experience uh, has worked with uh, google apple oracle and many more top mnc's okay then we have uh, vinod gopinath sir um, that is also from iit madras he has did his masters from uh, university of florida and he is a tech leader and program guidance uh, the sales force okay. then we have uh, prajot naik so he did masters uh, from mangalore university so league uh, architect and senior front end developer then uh, uh, sunny nagwekar so he did a uh, bachelor's from goa university and he is a senior uh, cloud and back end developer then myself i did uh, like data science from iit chennai then we have uh, abhishek singh that is he's from uh, iit kanpur and he's currently a product manager at startups then we have stuti sharma uh, like she did uh, bachelor's from delhi university in uh, computer science uh, then we have parnika talwa so she also did his uh, bachelor's from uh, vitu university in cs so these are the uh, core leading staff team members and we'll have more uh, members as well uh, with the uh, mentorship and the other uh, project side work yeah so any questions uh, so you can uh, mail us to us uh, at the engagement at the rate nyanmarga dot or to abhishek uh, abhishek at the rate nyanmarga dot in or to me uh, tarun at the rate nyanmarga